Melvin Jerome Blank was born on May 30th, 1908 in San Francisco, the younger son of Frederick and Eva Blank. After leaving New York to seek his fortune prospecting in Alaska, his father eventually settled the family down in Portland, Oregon. As a young boy growing up in the melting pot of the American West, he would be forever affected by the sounds of people and the way voices define personalities. My dad was always interested in voices and in music and in singing and in entertaining. He started to entertain in grammar school. From around about the age of 10, Mel Blank was um, very interested in dialects, Yiddish dialects and Chinese and Japanese dialects, Russian. The school would have an assembly, the grammar school. I would entertain the kids with a dialect story or one of the diff a different dialect each time. And uh, the kids loved it and they got such a big kick out of it. They laughed and the teachers laughed and then gave me lousy marks. You know? <laughs> I took eight years of violin lessons and when I went to high school, I thought to myself, gee, I want to march in a band, but I'd look kind of stupid walk walking down the with a violin. So I took up tuba and uh, I would march down the street with a, with a high school band playing, playing the tuba. I know he produced vaudeville shows in high school up in Portland. He dropped out of high school in about the ninth grade. Yeah, he used to say, I got lousy grades, but uh, I, I developed some great voices because of the, the echo in the school in the hallways. He started leading orchestras. He was an orchestra conductor, and the orchestras moved all around the Oregon area and the Washington area and Northern California area. In between when he was conducting the music, he would do shtick. He'd do different voices and different comedy routines. Mel was the youngest orchestra leader in the country at that time, at 17. So by the time he was a young man, he was already an accomplished entertainer. Mm -hmm. 